Welcome to the Alpine Carbon Kali Helmet. Introduction, shall we say. It's not exactly a review, but it's an overview of the newly released, and it's just come onto UK shores. So I'm gonna open the middle one. So it comes in a box and it comes in a bag, a box and a bag. So if you wanna store it, you can keep it nice and safe. So there it is, many more close-ups. Now there is a massive difference between this and the cheaper Zocker helmet, which is on our site. So if you want an entry level one, you can go straight in at 90 pounds and there's no VAT charged on them. And you can go and check that out, literally check it out and buy it, purchase it, etc. Uh, this one is got a slight increase on price. It's 299 pounds. No VAT charge on that either. Now, the reason for that is this is carbon, as you might have guessed from the name. So it's carbon fiber helmet. So it's a top end piece of kit, this. And it's got some functionality which the cheaper version hasn't got. You get what you pay for at the end of the day. Now, the 90 quid helmet is amazing because it's 90 quid, it's really light, and um, it's got the crash replacement on it. So you can't really lose with that. Exactly the same with this in terms of the fact that it's got a crash replacement on it. So if you have a massive accident and you smash this helmet in, they will replace it for you. So how that works, you just have to send it in to us, but have a look at the description on our website. It explains it in more detail. So with this one, the vents are slightly different position, slightly, um, so different areas. Uh, they've got a metal insert in it. It's got a rubber where you breathe onto. It's got a wipeable material. It's up in here and a tie or gap here with foam in it. And uh, this is actually can be wiped down. So you use a cloth, wet wipe, whatever. The pads on the inside, they can tear out as well because they've got Velcro on them, as you can probably hear. And they've got the Carly sign printed on them. The buckle is more secure, so it's got a loop system. So in a big crash, it's not just gonna rip the chin strap off partway through your tumble down the side of a mountain. Um, it's gonna actually hold in place. That's the idea of those really. Bit more awkward to put on, I think. I prefer the push fitting, but this is what you get on motorcycle helmets, essentially. It's a buckle system on expensive helmets. Um, and you've got a slightly wider field of view than the 90 quid Zocker. It actually cuts back a little bit further. This helmet weighs 876 grams. So it is incredibly light. You don't even realize you've got it in your head. It's just so light. Shall I throw a 300 quid helmet around? Mind if I drop it? Replacement, so. Yeah, better not do that. It is also got designed for this to break away, so this will snap off in the event of an impact. So the peak detaches, removes. So in point of view of safety, I will now read through some of the certifications. Uh -huh. It has got ASTM F1952, it's got ASTM 2032, EN1078, CPSC, ASNZS 2632208. There you go, that's the certification for it. So six head and six chin vents in total. So the idea there, of course, is one, it's really well covered for wet weather use, so you're not gonna get soaking wet. Secondly, it's got vents that don't really allow the rain in, but will vent your head out, head being the hottest part of your body. So this has also got the LDL technology in it, and we're gonna play a quick video now to show you, direct from Carly, um, what LDL technology is and how it benefits you as the rider, especially on impact, which hopefully none of us will actually have to test this out. But here's a quick video they've done on LDL technology. When designing a helmet, there are two main challenges when it comes to reducing traumatic brain injuries. The first is reducing linear acceleration to the brain, and the second 
is reducing rotational acceleration. A concussion caused by linear impact is when the head's momentum is stopped or rapidly changed, causing the brain to collide with the inner skull. Whereas rotational concussions are the result of a lateral or oblique impact that causes the brain to spin on its axes, physically tearing the structures of the brain. How many times have you been out riding with somebody and they crashed? They didn't get knocked out, but they had some concussion. You could tell they were a little bit messed up. Well, they probably hit less than 74 Gs. Our helmets are, are built to withstand 300 Gs, yet 80% of our crashes are below 100 Gs. So I believe we should be addressing low energy impacts just as much as high energy impacts. So we put a vinyl nitrile layer in our Maraca helmet, um, and that's basically memory foam. The whole purpose was to start dissipating energy at 20 Gs. 50 Gs, all those things that are way below what we build our helmets to. It, one of the biggest innovations that we came up with was the first one was composite fusion. However, um, you can't see it. People can't pick it up and go, wow. You know, so now our latest one, LDL, you can actually physically see. And it's super important, but it's no less or more important than the composite fusion. But because people can see it, they can relate to it more. They can feel it, they can touch it and go, what the hell is that? Why do you put those stupid little octopus tentacles or those Lego pieces, the, the green pieces that we put inside? So those take care of low G hits, so compressive linear hits, as well as they will fold over and help skid off those rotational forces. So our goal is to not just uh, make stuff and, and pat ourselves on the back for coming up with some new cool innovation, but to actually get it into as many products as we possibly can. Um, those are the things that, that excite us and, and we're never going to stop doing that. So as you see in that video, it's got a composite foam inside as well, which reduces the G-force by 25%. That's their claim. So on impact, as you smash your head into the ground, it actually, within this outer shell here, with everything that's going on the inside, the technology within there, it's actually reducing that impact. It decelerates essentially, so it takes some of that stress that otherwise would be taken by your brain, which wouldn't do any good, let's be honest. So this, when you put them side by side to the cheaper Zocca, there are clear differences. So the fi finish of this, the fit and finish, it is like a, it's a high-end helmet. You can kind of see it. But if I say, if you're going in budget, then you, you're not going to be disappointed with the Zocker, their entry level. Um, but you're definitely not going to be disappointed with this high-end helmet. Incredibly light. It looks as sweet as. And it's carbon fiber. So it's got that and the weave shows through. The way the finish is done is really nice. As you rotate it around, you can see the carbon fiber weave in there. And it comes in various colors. So definitely worthwhile checking that out. Measure your head around the top of your head. Measure that and then pick the size you want. They're fairly tight fitting, intentionally so, because you want that to be braced on top of your head and then the technology can work properly. So go by their measurements uh, and check it out at speedyfeet.co.uk. And obviously follow us on Instagram. Go and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click the bell notification and share this video if you think it would be interesting for someone. Make a great present, wouldn't it? expensive one though but not only does it look nice it smells nice as well yeah go and check it out guys i'll see you on the next one <laughs> uh funny marriage just said just for the audio uh, you don't need to clap <laughs> <laughs> don't need to say the audio uh, delete that not needed don't need it don't need it for the audio